the Uyghur Muslim nowadays, most of them cannot even offer salah. They are not allowed to fast. They are forced to have food during Ramadan. Many are forced to have alcohol. They aren't allowed to learn Arabic. And if they don't listen to the authorities, they are put into concentration camps. The Chinese government says this is re-education. Many of the Uyghur Muslims in these concentration camps, they are tortured, they are harassed, they are asked to give up the religion, they are asked to follow communism. And those that are outside, they are being tracked by cameras, by face recognition, so much so that in July, there were 22 countries that wrote a letter to UN objecting on the human rights violation against the Uyghur Muslim in China. 22 countries. And do you know, out of these 22 countries, there was not a single Muslim country which objected. All of them were non-Muslim country, mostly European country. Isn't it a shame? Here the story doesn't end. The story which is really disheartening is, few days later, 37 countries give a letter to UN saying what the Chinese government is doing is correct. They are not torturing the Muslims. They are not violating human rights. They are educating them. They are doing anti-terrorism. 37 countries. Out of these 37 countries, 15 countries were Muslim countries. More than 40% of the countries which supported China, saying that what you're doing is right against the Muslims, what you're touching them is correct, it is anti-terrorism, they were Muslims. I don't want to take the name because I don't want to embarrass them. What is happening to our scholars? How can you support the enemies of Islam just for a small benefit? This is not permitted in the Sharia.